we're headed over to Gatlinburg right now. Uh, somebody's not where they're supposed to be. We're going to go over here and see if we can help out. So, always remember, pay to park. Today is lesson pay to park. So dark.
Guys, this is, uh, they called in last night for this one and we, we came over and I was in the wrecker and I can get it, but then you gotta worry about the steering wheel and it's a little too heavy for dollies. It's the Duramax. Last time I got a Duramax, I was popping wheelies. So we wanted to make sure we got it in the rollback and, and then it got super late. And, other people were blocking him in, so sometimes it's tough to get him with the rollback, especially if there's a lot of a lot of cars. I, I don't I don't like to drag them around and things like that, so it's easier for me if there's there's room where I can get in behind them and I don't have to do anything crazy. So that's what we hope for here. That's what we got today. He um, evidently uh, he's not going to have the excuse of you know it was dark and I didn't see the sign because he parked there all night and then he left and now he's back and he's been there all day today so probably not going to be very happy with anyone involved here but hey you got to pay Wait. to park pay to park and he had an opportunity to rectify the situation but he did not quick walk around of this real quick it does have some That's pretty cool. scuffs he had, he had the on his chest that way Anything that happens is recorded. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> you gotta cover your butt sometimes. You want a life pro tip, record everything. <laughs> Just <Yeah>. everything. <laughs> Listen, man, I, I know. I rented a car from Enterprise. Oh. Down Florida, <laughs> you thought I was gonna pick it up. And it had it had the crack in the windshield. It had this, this, and the fender, and the door, and I said, Oh yeah, I, I said. I said no, no, no. <laughs> so you, you have to, you have to watch yourself. All right, we got the Jeep on dollies. All right, good to go. Everything auto is Jeff. Hey Harold, you want to see if you can turn my truck this morning? Oh, uh, what kind of truck you got? It's a white Chevy 2500. Uh, yes, sir. It's parked in uh, the numbered spots in uh, Gatlinburg. It's parked where now? In one of the numbered spots in Gatlinburg. Yeah, right here beside the motel. Yes, sir. That's where I was told to park at by the st uh, staff here because last night they were full. Uh, they don't own that parking lot, so they have they 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 could not tell you to park there. That's what they they told me to do because my my parking pass was in the in the windshield. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I understand. Um, and that, and that's how the lot security knew you weren't supposed to be there. So what's it gonna cost? Get it back? Really? Uh, yes, sir. Wow. All right, standby. I'll be calling you back. Okay, thank you. We're on standby. Everything auto. Hey, we gotta come to pick up this truck. Where at? In Sevierville. And how far about is that from Gatlinburg? Mm, we're about 15, 20 minutes, depending on traffic. Okay. Is there any, I mean, I'm a police officer, but I just know I get back home better work tonight. Is there any discount you can do for me? Mm, no, sir. I'm sorry. Not for the illegal parks. Okay. 
All right, well, um, when can I come get it? Are you going to be there? Or? Uh, I mean, as long as we know we're, you're coming this way, uh, just kind of give me a 15, 20 minute heads up. Uh, ID has to match the registration of the truck. Oh, dude, well, I don't have any cash on me. I mean, I'm, I'm out of town touring. Gotcha. I mean, you'd have to hit up an ATM or something like that. I'm sorry. It's just... I ain't going to ATM and paying them fees out of town. That shit just ain't happening. Gotcha. Well, I'm unfortunately, we can't release the truck without payment. I'll get my truck back one way or the other. Okay. So I'll be calling you back. Okay. Thank you, sir. He'll get his truck because he's a police officer. Mm. Police officers, he thinks it means I don't have to abide by the rules. Driver, driver. Oh. Hey, everything ought to. I have some big whatever going on. So, uh, Saturday night we come back about 7, 7 30. Of course, there was no parking. So, I come in and people head around the corner. I said, Hey, y'all are full. Where I park at? I was told to park right here along this grass wall right here in the numbered area. A lady that works here, one of the ladies. Because I just, I walked in right here and I said, Hey, y'all are full. Where do I park? Yes, yes. To park right here. Because right there it says employees only. So I said, look, you know, I'll, I got a big truck. Where do you park at? She said, park right here. So I said, that was fine. Go out yesterday, come back last evening about 6, 6.30. I park back over there again. Now my shit's towed. Yeah. Well, you had no parking whatsoever. No. Yeah. So you had, you said you had like, to get some food there. I don't know about that. It's the person, everybody from the university knows that they can go to that. Where is that at? That is what I was told. I walked right in here. I picked my head around the corner. Well, as you can hear there, uh, I guess he butt dialed me. He's in the uh, talking to the uh, to the hotel management right there uh, about about where he'd parked. Um, and and you know generally they're pretty clear. You know if if they're if they're overflow if their lot is 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 full they direct people to their overflow lot and folks just take for granted that hey you know this this spot's open so uh, I'm just going to park here um, and, and and you heard him in the background. He had seen the sign that said employees only because he just, you know, uh, he wasn't talking to me, obviously. So he didn't know that he was uh, he was butt dialing me. But he seen the sign. He said uh, it said employee employee parking only. But he still chose to to park where he wasn't supposed to. Uh, but again, guys, uh, you know, uh, hey, thank you for your service. All the police officers out there. I I'm not uh, I'm not uh, disregarding that in any way shape or form. Um, but just because you're a police officer doesn't mean, you know, you deserve a discount or you deserve, you know, any, any special treatment. So, uh, we'll see. This guy's pretty irate. Stay tuned. Everything auto. I'm on the way to pick up my truck. Okay. I'm leaving the motel as we speak. Okay. Sounds good. All right. All right. Thanks. Well, Just the fella, please, I need the phone to Whoa, 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 whoa. the car is up. How's it going? Doing good, bud. How are you? Good. Did you get them sorted out over there? No, they ain't gonna do anything about it. A bunch of fucking bullshit, if you ask me. What time was it towed? But they called me two different times. So you parked there all day Friday. They called me. Um, well, see, they told me, they said, we, got a, we have a overflow parking well where is it at it's way up yonder mm -hmm. when the fuck's way up yonder well friday night you had a fucking prevost fucking tour bus sitting right out front that had 13 spots blocked yeah parked that motherfucker up why the hill. was that not there yeah yeah i don't know yep. I, I, for that I, I don't know that's i mean they, they that's, that's why i'm in 
Yeah, that's why you're here yeah, because yeah. you've got a you've got a bus that hauls everybody in the world that wants to park yeah. right out front, and, and they should have they should have uh, had them go to the overflow lot. But for whatever reason, yeah. So they're the ones that contacted y'all, or did y'all go to the hotel and ask? No, no, no. See, see the spot that you were in, security comes around and checks those. All of those numbered spots are for employees that work in and around Gatlinburg. So when those employees come to work, and you're in the spot that they pay for then they can't come to work and then security oh, will I call. The sign said that was church parking. No ma'am, no ma'am. It's uh because see, we even went down and checked the church and we're like they don't have Sunday night service, we're good. Because no, we were out all day yesterday. So we parked there so only that for signs a only that hours. tall. And when you got cars in front of it, you can't see it. So yep. I got told hey park right here along that grass wall. I don't I didn't see no sign. Cuz right there it says employees only. So I said look, you know, I got a big truck where are you park, park at? Yeah. Well, to do there's so. a lack of communication when these people don't speak English. Yeah, I mean, I'm not foreigners. very happy right now. Yeah. No, and I, had we not had our friends here, how were we supposed to get over here to get you? I know. I completely understand. Yeah, normally our... So this uh, is not something that y'all do? Because I even asked some lady, and she didn't speak good English. I said, is this normal practice around here? We come yeah. here four and five times a year, and this has not ever happened to us. Yeah. And she said, I've never heard of this. I, t I tell you, uh, like I've told a lot of I folks... I was hoping it got stolen. <laughs> if, if you're in Gatlinburg and you're not paying to park, you're doing something wrong. Uh, and I know in your case... We paid for a hotel. I know. $700. And they won my tag on everything and I give it to them. And, and yeah. And you had your hang tag, I think, yeah. hanging. And, yeah, it's in there. And, and see, like I was telling you on the phone, that's what give you away. When they see the hotel hang tag, they know for sure that you're not an employee of Gatlinburg. So then security calls us right off. But they can't walk over there and let them know. That's, I mean... Hey, they got 20 minutes to move or need to move it now or... Because but, had they talked... It's just, yeah, it's the confrontation end they they don't you know the, the security guy you know if he if he gets in a yelling screaming match with everybody that parked there he wouldn't get anything else done so he just you know unfortunately that's uh, one one bad person ruins it for everybody kind of thing he he just calls See, you I know told that, yes, as a police officer back in augusta georgia we would always say hey no make contact with this person they got 20 minutes yeah. If not, then it's towed. At least get a member of the doubt because yeah. we're out of town or whatever, you know? Yeah, well, you... We have the masters there. Yeah. And we always stay... We're here five times. We always stay at the Old, Old Creek Lodge. Yeah. But we waited so long to book this one, they were already sold out. Yeah, three-day weekends. Three-day weekends are, are crazy. Well, the guy could say was over yonder. He said we told you, but we, yeah, even they, my friend they, right they, there, he did I don't know. Um, they didn't tell us about And then the girl just told us lot. we were fine there. When well, we told her we didn't know where to park. Well, you're fine there. Well, brother, I, I mean, I don't know if it does you any good or not, but there's the ticket on it. Uh, I mean, you might take that up with the hotel, say, hey, you know, here's what I had to pay. And He said, I'm going to go back and forward a video to see who it was that told you. Yeah. But he's avoiding me now. He, he wouldn't even come back. Yeah. He wouldn't. He wouldn't. He uh, me. Well, I mean, you've got the receipt. Security like I said, I, is just private. It's not the Gatlinburg Police Department. No, man. We have to call and report call everyone yeah. that we take right. so just so they know. So, you know, paperwork. Right. Nobody likes to do right. paperwork. Yeah. Um, so we have to call everyone in, but it's a it's a private lot, and they they hire their own security to walk around, and uh, and know. So so that whole lineup right there, they're all numbered, and they go all the way down in front of the church, um, and then also there's a gravel parking lot that's a big issue across the road. Mm -hmm. So that and that's gravel why we didn't park there because there was a sign there that said employee parking. Yeah. Yeah. And across from there, it said Econo Lodge. And unfortunately, they you know they had the big bus park there taking up most yeah, of their... which is bullshit. So yeah. when I go back get my shit, I'm going to tell the guy. Yeah. If you got overflow, that bus should have been up there. Yeah. No, it's... I promise you, you guys are not the first ones, and you won't be the last. And it's and it's a complicated situation well, over there. I ain't there. going back to the damn to that... <laughs> <laughs> I, I told him black ass that. Yeah, it's it's a very complicated situation. Uh, those those folks pay uh, monthly to be able to to own those spots to park in, and uh, yeah, unfortunately, that they come and then they miss out on a day's work. And so security tries. Um, I know it's not your guys' fault, and please understand that I, they just call me to do a job. Oh yeah, I know. Um, but it's I don't I don't know I don't know what the remedy is. But all I can tell you is, if they told you to park there, hopefully he'll follow through with the uh, with the with the camera, and you've got the receipt where you made all this happen. See, we stepped inside. Like I told the guy, I said you won't see me on camera because I stepped inside the door. I said, "Hey, y'all are full where we first park at." Yeah. So you're not going to see me on camera. Yeah. Because I wasn't right there at your your desk. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, you, you guys are not from around here. Right. It, it could be anywhere in Gatlinburg. You right. know. We've been here Valentine's Day. We've been here on all the busy holidays. 
and the old creek and have never had a had problem. any problems never ever I say the river's edge river's edge too that. never ever yeah yeah <laughs> yeah river road is all i don't know man it's yeah. it's tough it's tough <laughs> i'm sorry guys i'm gonna get out of your way it was towed i can tell you both times you called me it was pretty early on the this morning no ma'am this was yesterday um 5:42. 5:42 yesterday. Cause I don't think we went back by then yesterday. Yeah, it was like six ish the time we yeah, literally we got just back, got back. Pushing. It was and almost that's dark. Really cool. Yes, cause we uh, got yeah, our our phone call come in for the tow at 5:42, um, and on Friday, I can't recall on Friday what time it was. Um, it, you know, he called us twice. For it was there all Friday night. It was mm -hmm. about 11. Not on Friday. It wasn't. Because we, we moved it Friday night. We were there at 11 o'clock to remove it, and we were in this, and I'm like, I'm not towing his his truck with this. So we didn't get it Friday. So I was physically yeah, we there. Friday night, night, it was parked in the front of the... Of at the 11... By Mark's truck. It was between 9.30 and 11. Somewhere in between there, but he did call us, and it, you know, it was there, and we, and we were like, no, I'm not messing with... Because, I mean, it's a big truck, man. Yeah. It's a big you said, truck. what did you tow it with? You did tow it with the rollback? With the rollback, yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's safer, it's easier. Yeah, oh yeah, you've done this before yeah. too. So yeah. that's what I, I was very concerned about how you towed it, it up here safely, especially yeah. with this road. Yeah, 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 it's, uh, it, it's, it's a little different when you can't steer. The front end's a little light. Yeah. That Duramax is heavy and yeah. it's just the safe. So I left it Friday night and then sure as, it's sure as be, he called me again. trying to be polite for the church. Oh, I know. for Sunday, yeah. you know. It, it's a big truck, you're out of the way, you're leaving room for everybody else that's over there. Yeah. And unfortunately the big bus didn't do you any favors mm -hmm. at all. I, there were several, they had um, they had another bus that was directly across the street from their doors and then they had another bus that was kind of out to the left there. So they had two big buses taking up all of their parking. I don't. I completely don't understand that. Mm. Thank you, man. <laughs> okay guys, the pickup truck. Um, so that guy was a police officer um man you should know better you know you're a police officer of all people should know you know about signs and parking and i mean that's this is what you do um but unfortunately you know and he even admitted you know on on the on the butt dial there he that he's seen the signs and then he come here and said that he didn't see the signs um but i just want to kind of touch base on some of the police officer and the racism i mean obviously he's there, there was some very bad things said there, and you know I do not, uh, I do not condone any of that stuff. And I, I can't believe that you know being a police officer that you would, you would say some of those things. Um, you know those folks, they're running a business. It doesn't matter who and what race or what religion that you believe in. Those folks are, they're running, they're running a business, and they don't, they don't need to be called, you know, things like that. So, um, but it, you know, in, in the. And the not starting an argument, you know, I'm just trying to get this guy out of here. Obviously, he was he was irate um, on the phone coming here. So, a little different story. Once he got here, he was a little a little more calm. But I, I'm not going to try to start a, a racism argument with this guy. But come on, man, come on. Um, police officer should know better on all on all ends of that. It's it's not acceptable, not acceptable. But. Um, Thank you guys for watching. Um, hopefully, uh, you take something away from this video. Uh, I know we we learn something. I learn something every day. I learn something every call, uh, not only about vehicles but uh, about people. So, um, appreciate you guys watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.